Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about frequency and how to calculate the frequency of a signal. So let's take this signal here, for example. This is what you call AC signal. Um, this is alternative current. This is the, uh, the signal that you have on your power outlet uh, where you plug your electronics. Uh, this signal is um, a sinusoidal wave. A sinusoidal wave has this characteristic. Uh, has a positive half cycle and a negative half cycle. Um, once it completes one cycle, that's what you call the period of the wave. Which is, is denoted by the letter T. That is one cycle. And that is what we are going to use in order to calculate the frequency of a signal. So um, let's say, for example, that you're watching this signal on an, on an oscilloscope. Uh, and the time per frame, this is one frame, this is another frame, this is another frame. Or the division by frame, it's, let's say, for example, it's 0 0.0. 0 0.02 seconds, or the same as saying 2 milliseconds, okay? So let's say that you're watching a waveform that it's at 2 milliseconds per division, all right? So that is the data that you have, and you want to calculate the frequency of a signal. So the next thing that we need to do is to calculate how long it takes for this signal to complete one cycle. In other, words, we need, in other words, we need to calculate the period of the signal. So what we're going to do, we're going to multiply how many divisions that we have by 2 milliseconds. Okay? So in this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right? So that will be 8 times 0 0.0. .0 Zero, two seconds. And let's see um, how much is that. And I'm going to say eight times 0 0.002. And that is T, which is the period. It's 0 0.016 seconds. All right, so that is the period of the wave. So now we need to calculate frequency. So frequency is equals 1 over the period. So that will be 1 over 0 0.016. All right, pull the calculator again. 1 over 0 0.016. And that is 62 hertz, all right? So the signal, the AC signal that you get on your power outlet is approximately 60 hertz, all right? And so that's how you calculate frequency on a signal. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.